Welcome to Touch Technology Review today. I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Rode VideoMic MEL. L stands for lightning port. So this product is compatible with the latest generation of iPhones from the 6, 6S Plus, 7, 8, 9, and 10, along with all lightning port equipped iPads. Let's unbox it and then we'll go over the specs and provide a couple of sample audio clips with and without the microphone. Incidentally, the vocal recording that you're listening to right now has been recorded with the video mic MEL attached to my iPhone 6S Plus sitting on my desk around 30 centimeters away. The unit comes in two parts, the main microphone, which is of sturdy construction, aluminium black and weighing only 28 grams. It's pretty compact at 73.5 millimeters long with a diameter of around 25 millimeters. There's also an additional rubber grip that you can clip onto the back, which provides further support when mounted onto your iPhone or iPad, but this is not required for use. You also get a rather furry windshield, which is designed to minimize wind noise when recording outdoors. It looks quite ridiculous and out of proportion, but it's really gonna come in useful, particularly on those windy days. There's a small leaflet and warranty card in the box which contains your serial number, allowing you to register your product for warranties online. So why might you consider using this product if you're a vlogger or YouTube content creator? We already know that the quality of the newest iPhones has increased to the point that you can shoot full HD and 4K video. However, the internal microphone is omnidirectional, so it picks up audio from all around the room. The Video Mic ME is a directional mic that reduces the surrounding room noise, allowing you to focus more directly on the vocal delivery, which results in a clear and intelligible audio signal. The microphone plugs right into the base of your iPhone using the lightning port, and you don't need to add any software or change configuration. Once plugged in, it's powered by your iOS device, so it doesn't need batteries, it doesn't need any software to run and it detects and becomes the default microphone in your camera app when plugged in. It's also compatible with the Rode Reporter app, which you can download for free and use to record voiceover recordings. It also comes with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at the rear of the microphone that allows you to monitor your audio should you wish to do so. The audio quality is quite decent for such a compact, affordable mic. It comes in at around $80 US, which translates to around 105 Australian. However, you might notice that the audio signal is significantly lower than the internal microphone on your iPhone and does carry with it a small amount of line noise. If you're editing your video in iMovie, Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro, this won't be a problem as a simple audio boost and cleanup of the audio can raise and compress the vocals to a very high standard. So you can hear what I'm talking about. This next scene was shot and edited into this video without any mastering of the audio. So it's a raw signal coming directly out of the microphone. So I've got the iPhone situated about a meter away from me. This is a great distance for an opening scene for a YouTube video, for example. The Rode mic should give me a more concentrated sound, should reduce some room noise, and should sound much clearer than having just the audio coming from your iPhone. Let's go ahead and take the microphone out and test the onboard microphone now to see how that sounds. I've just removed the Rode Video Mic LE, and this is how the audio sounds coming straight out of the iPhone. You should notice there's a bit more echo and room noise and the voice is less clear and distinct. So in my opinion, there's a great advantage using this Rode microphone. So I've got the iPhone situated about a meter away from me. This is a great distance for an opening scene for a YouTube video, for example. The Rode mic should give me a more concentrated sound, should reduce some room noise, and should sound much clearer than having just the audio coming from your iPhone. Now in this final test, I'm just gonna be walking into an open space. This is where I create my studio over to the right there. And this is probably a good working example of using this microphone with a selfie stick. And this is what it sounds like. I've got a lot, a lot of noise in the background. Hopefully it sort of isolates a little bit of that and it's more directional focused on my voice. I'm conducting a slightly different test here. I'm now sitting 
one and a half meters away from the iPhone. I'm actually in a different room. This room has less echo and reverberation. There's carpet on the floors rather than woodwork. And it's also less open, it's a more confined space. So in my opinion, it sounds a lot better. It's a much more ideal shooting environment. So the audio should sound pretty good. I'm just about to get it in a little bit closer so you can hear what it would sound like if you're less than a meter away and it's probably gonna sound even better. Now I've moved up to under a meter and this is probably the ideal shooting distance for a selfie type of vlog video anyway. So the audio should sound a little bit more direct, a little bit punchier and there should be slightly less room noise and echo in the recording. And this I would say is the ideal shooting distance and this is what the microphone is going to sound like. Now just a very quick test outdoors. I'm in a local park. There's a little bit of environmental noise. There's cars around 300 meters away on a main road. And you can hear a little bit of wind in the background and some birds chirping in the background. And hopefully this microphone will help eliminate some of that and make sure And here it is with just the internal audio of the microphone on the iPhone 6S Plus. So hopefully you're going to be able to notice a significant difference there. And now a final recording using the windshield provided with the Rode VideoMic MEL. This is designed to eliminate that noise that you would have heard kick in at the last section of that recording when I was in the park. There was a significant amount of wind that started to drum up and that affected the audio quality. I can hear that wind and feel that wind on me now and having this windshield on should completely eliminate that noise. As you can hear, it's quite decent, but to get the best results, you're going to need to process it in post-production as you would with any other vocal recording. So in summary, a great addition to any vlogger's mobile kit at a reasonable price, the Rode VideoMic MEL will help achieve a higher quality of audio rendition on your next video production. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. See you on the next one. Bye for now. There is one omission of this microphone, that is it doesn't include a built-in pop filter. Now, if you're one of those vloggers that gets up nice and close and personal, then this could become an issue, but I would recommend that you stand back at least 80 centimeters away from the microphone for optimal results. As I mentioned earlier, I got as close as 30, but I did happen to place a pop filter in front of the microphone to avoid that popping sound, which happened just then as I removed the pop filter. So a word of uh, advice there if you are getting close, nonetheless, a very reasonable microphone. <laughs>